up to but it seems interesting i'm just building my shelf now i got this little ikea shelf it's the cole bjorn shelf and i know i already have like so much stuff in my one room already but i thought getting a shelf would be really important just because all my shop stuff and all my like miscellaneous life stuff is just kind of scattered around the room right now and also just shoved under my bed i feel like at some point maybe more towards the far future i'll have these spray painted um but i feel like it's more important now to have them just up and in use just because i really need the organization now i know it's going to be more of a hassle but i think it's worth it <sighs> let's see how fast i can assemble this It's a few days away from the shop opening and so today I'm doing a lot of inventory work and also setting up my shelf just so that I have all my products out on display. And while I'm doing inventory, I'm also grading all my merch and also just like prepping everything. Like for example, all these wood pins come with this um, like protective layer on top when it was laser cut to its shape so I'm just taking it off and this takes some time, like my fingers are getting kind of raw so I'm using a little tool for this. So with grading, I'm just kind of checking if all each piece is good quality and if there's any like imperfections or so I'll just mark it as B grade and sell it for a little less. But so far I haven't had a lot of B grades throughout all of my new merch. These guys are really nice, I haven't seen any flaws on them and so I'm just going to be putting them on backing cards and calling a day for this. The notepads I was a little more worried about because this was a new manufacturer that I haven't used and honestly it turned out pretty good. I do have to clean up on some of the square ones. I'm honestly pretty nervous for the shop update um, but it is what it is. I'm also going to grade these calendars. I don't know if I've shown these yet but 
they came and they look so nice. I ended up doing a three color palette reso for the calendar and I thought a moon phase calendar would be really fun this time around. And thank you to my patrons for helping me choose the color palette that I went for. Something that I noticed that some artists do with uh, reso prints is that they like to sign it on the back and also mark what version it is or like which number it is out of the whole unit. So I have a hundred calendars, I think. I still have to count them, but I think I'm gonna number them, you know, so that there's like a little bit more specialty and love put into each calendar. I've been waiting for this. I've been waiting. Oh my god. working on some valentine cards for digital downloads for the shop and this card has been pretty interesting. I'm kind of glad I noodled with this more and um, got rid of most of the line work to just have it be more solid. I feel like I went out of my comfort zone a little with this and I don't know it's giving like Barbie princess vibes and I think it's pretty cute because this is bite me. <laughs> So all of today I've just been working on some digital downloads for the shop. I really wanted to do some Valentine cards this year because it's close to Lunar New Year and stuff and it's the year of the rabbit so I decided to do some white rabbit candy cards. I made a few different color versions. I feel like these two are probably my favorites. It's based off of the colors of the white rabbit candy. Here's the actual candy if you haven't seen it before. It's got this very iconic logo and it's very interesting how there's like text on the side and then the blue part of like the tail ends are also bunnies. This is like a childhood candy of mine and um, it's just really fitting for the year of the rabbit. Lots to figure out in this new space as I prep but I feel like it's getting there.
in my room now, but I wanted to show off a little bit of the mail that I got because it was a really good mail day. Um, there were some things I weren't expecting. The first thing is this little PR package that I got from Notion that was really cute. I love working with Notion and they just had like some cute things to send out to creators and this time around it included a tote bag. This one's pretty cool. It's got like a really long strap to it and then along with some cute little stickers. But the main thing that really caught my eye is this throw blanket and it's, you know, black and white with the Notion theme. But I thought I was just gonna say like Notion, like have the logo on it, but it's a cat. Here's the full scale of the blanket. It's so cute. <laughs> and then the second thing I got was this trade that I did with Paloma, Paloma the Peach. I also got her tote bag. The design is super sweet and I love her little logo on the back. That I got a bunch of printed stickers and I am such a big fan of Paloma's work because it just makes you feel so warm and cozy inside. Here are the prints. This one is actually a sticker sheet. She also sent over some Animal Crossing cards and it makes me so happy because Teddy is like my number one favorite for obvious reasons. Bo is also very precious and actually I don't know too much about Drago, but he's pretty cool too. I also love how I have Paloma's entire family now. <laughs> like all her pets all in one. Pistachio the frog, Salem and Clementine the kitties, and then Ollie. Oh my god, this is such a sweet sticker. You look so comfy. I want to be that comfy. I also got in my February prints for your Patreon and this was one of my favorites in a while. Originally I was gonna have like a fully different design more based around bugs and like bug catching, kind of like an Animal Crossing style. <laughs> um, but something in me was like, let's put bees and bunnies together and make a little bunny bee. Just like pollinating some flowers in a field or something. And thus this was born. So these are the new patron ones. And then I got this one. Both are super cute. They both have similar themes and I really love how they go together. So it's just lovely. Kind of motivates me to pack more diligently and also just like put even more love into each and every order. It makes me really happy to just be able to like create small things like this that could be so cute. <laughs> The order packing process is going really well. I actually got surprised by some flowers <laughs> from my roommate because it's Valentine's Day week. Mm. This is very sweet. Happy Valentine's Day, Dumpling.
Thank mm -hmm. you.